Francisco didn't have hobbies. His whole life was his work, and it was honest work. Francisco made a bunch of major cash deposits into an account. Let me guess, 10 grand each, right? Word was leaking out about the Pilar Retriever. People were stopping Francisco at dog shows, giving him cash just to reserve a pup from the first litter. Why would anyone want to put a kennel under surveillance? I don't know. Well, his breeding and training methods were closely guarded secrets, and the Pilar Retriever was making his competitors very nervous. Anyone specific? It sounded crazy at the time, but he thought one of his dog training clients was in business with someone who was trying to infiltrate our operation. Pretty good story, right? Hey, I had to get you out of there somehow. Mr. Patterson, I don't think you understand how serious this is. We're going to search that warehouse from top to bottom. And we got a pretty good idea of what we're going to find in there. Well, I'll tell you exactly what you'll find. Suitcases with false bottoms for smuggling drugs through customs. About two kilos of pure Argentinian heroin. Best drug-sniffing dogs we've ever had. My name's not Jack Patterson. Kenny Weiser, U.S. Customs agent. You got any coffee? Yeah. Sorry about giving you the runaround at the warehouse, but when you're dealing with the cartels, you can't be too careful. Huh? So that's why you gave us Kay Capucho's name. Because you thought she but Francisco. Yeah, we couldn't really launch an investigation without tipping our hand in the Vasquez operation. So I figured I'd tell you what I know, see where you could get it. Wiser, what are Francisco's dogs trained to do when they smell drugs? They paw at the ground. Why? Because that's what Royal was doing. He smelled drugs on our killer. Well, that makes sense. The Vasquez cartel had a hell of a lot to gain from Francisco's death. His program was costing them a fortune in intercepted shipments. They knew he was onto them. So they got someone to finish him off. Probably the same person who wired Kikapuccio's dog collar. <laughs>